Chris Hayes has his town hall. AOC is there. She's, after all, uh, the person pushing the Green New Deal. The actual architect of the policy was also there. And here is what he had to say about AOC again. Tucker Carlson has millions of people who watch his show every day. He has a big staff, production, and all of that. If anyone has the ability and resources to dissect the Green New Deal and take it down on the merits, Tucker Carlson could do that, hypothetically. Instead, this is what he gave to his audience. So it's official. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is a moron and nasty and more self-righteous than any televangelist who ever preached a sermon on cable access. She's not impressive. She's awful. So first of all, yes, I want to hear more about self-righteousness from Tucker Carlson, but she is awful and a moron and nasty. So you get a bit of that nasty woman thing that the right has been pushing for a couple of years. And again, this is a guy who is respected on the right for being able to take down leftists with razor sharp wit and argumentation. She's a moron. That's what he said to Rutger Bregman, the economist that made him look so silly in his interview that they didn't actually even air it. This is the best that he actually has. The problem is not that he's ill-equipped to actually convince people on the merits against this policy, but that he doesn't have to. The bar is below the ground. Everybody watching Tucker Carlson's show already agrees with him on this. They, they don't need to be told why they shouldn't support the Green New Deal or why they shouldn't support AOC. They just need to be told that she's some sort of insult. They want to see someone attacking her. That's what they want. That's what they tune in for. God, we are partisan people. Now, on AOC's uh, part, she had some uh, 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 insults being thrown around during the actual uh, uh, Green New Deal town hall. And here's how she addressed one of them in real time. So is it possible that we say, listen, climate change is the thing that we're seeing the whites of its eyes. We've got to act now. Can we come back maybe to universal basic income a little bit later? So, no, so, well, this hey, is hey, 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 hey. That's unacceptable, and that's the difference between me and Trump. Yeah. That's good. I appreciate that. I disagree slightly with the Congresswoman. I think that is the least of the differences between her and Trump, but it is a difference. She was surrounded, I have to assume, by a crowd that is probably at least somewhat favorable towards her and the Green New Deal, but she was still, in, still willing to say no, no, that's unacceptable because they yelled moron at that former Republican congressman. She's willing to do that, and that is something. Now, um, we had been talking before the show, Brooke and I, about how she also said that Republicans had made fools of themselves, which I agree with Brooke, is insulting Republicans, and I think we both agree that it's objectively true that they did make fools of themselves. And the thing is, it might seem like because I'm, I defend that, but I'm attacking uh, Tucker Carlson for calling her a moron that I'm being a hypocrite. I don't think that I am. It would be hypocritical for me to uh, applaud that sort of name calling and then say, and that's why I am the arbiter of all that is rational and logical. I don't. I'm stupid. You shouldn't listen to me. But Tucker Carlson really does want you to believe that he is the smartest man on television. He certainly seems to believe it himself. Um, I am uh, only smart enough to know that what I think doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyway, I think that she's right there. She also tweeted, when someone called a former Republican congressman a moron at our televised town hall, I shut it down immediately because I believe our policies can win on merit and can be improved with productive discourse. You know, we're winning when the GOP resort to vapid personal insults. And uh, there's nothing I would like more in the world than to get back to discussing climate change and possible ways to address that threat uh, based on the merits, based in the policy, and that's generally what we do. But when there is this ongoing campaign against people like either on the political side, AOC, or on this particular issue, someone like Chris Hayes, I do think that we cannot allow those attacks to simply go unanswered. And so that's why I felt it was worth covering on the show today. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.